Hello everyone. In my previous video, I told you how you can attach media files to your tweets using make.com. And in this video, I will tell you how to do exactly the same, but in Anitan. And believe it or not, this will be the very first video on YouTube showing this. There are many videos online where people tell you how you can automate all of your social media using Anitan but none of them tell you how to attach an image file to your tweet. And no, it is not impossible. And in this video I will explain you how you can do it in any time. And now, fasten your seatbelts and let's start building! As you can see, the workflow looks very similar to the make.com workflow. Um, we have a trigger. Then we have Google Sheets where we have all the data that needs to be posted. Um, we download the image file from Google Drive. Here we have something that I will explain later. And here we post to our Twitter account. So the Google Sheet is still the same. Hello world, this is my first automated post on X and the image URL. So now if we test this or run this, it downloads or gets the data from Google Sheet, it downloads the file, it makes an HTTP request and it posts it on Twitter. And now if we go to my Twitter or X account and if I refresh, We see, hello world, this is my first automated post on X. Pretty guy, but he can be deleted for now. Sorry, myself, delete. And now go a bit deeper into the workflow. So the first one is Google Sheets. So it gets all the data. So the post itself and the image URL. The second step is downloading it from Google Drive. So you enter your Google credentials, resource file, download. And here the nice thing is you can just enter the URL. You don't need to enter the ID of the file like in make.com, but just the URL and this module downloads or gets the data as you can see on the right. The last step is just posting everything on X or Twitter. So you enter your Twitter credentials, resource is tweet, you create a tweet. The text is hello world and then options you can choose a media id but the same as in make.com how do we get that media id so go back to our previous step the http request and this is where all the magic happens now open it so um, to start you make an uh, HTTP call or an API request to this URL. And uh, where did I find it? I went to the documentations of X for version 1 and then I found upload media. And then if you scroll down a bit, you see all explanations, the request, and here you find the resource URL. This is the one you have to use. So HTTPS, upload.twitter.com, version 1.1, media, upload, JSON. So that is the one we will use here. And then the first difficult part is the authentication type. Here you can choose between non predefined credential type or generic credential type. You have to use generic credential type. Okay, the second one. 
the authentication, the old type. Here you have lots of choices. You have to choose this one, 0 or 1 API. Otherwise, it won't work. And then you have to fill in your API keys. And again, like in make.com, you find your API keys on your developer account from X. On the dashboard, you go to your project, keys and tokens. And here you have the API keys you need. Um, if you haven't written them down, you can always regenerate them and use these ones. So this one we choose. Okay, and now the second part that was giving me lots of headaches. This one is not just enough. We need to send a body to, so this one needs to be enabled, send body. And then scroll down a bit. Under body content type, you can choose from URL encoded, um, form data, JSON, any 10 binary file, and raw. Here you have to choose form data and not the any 10 binary file. So form data. And here the parameter type is an a 10 binary file. The name is just media and the input data field name is data as the input from the one before. So if we test this step, you get a media ID and a media ID string. This is also something that gave me an issue in the the next step, so in the X module, you have to use the media ID string for media ID. Um, it doesn't accept a number or an integer, but you need to have the string, so the media ID string. So I already deleted myself on X, so try it again. Test workflow. And now go to my X account. Refresh it. And now scroll down. And here is that amazing guy again. Ah. I forgot to tell you something. This is a different X or Twitter account because Twitter only allows you to have one callback URL. So you can only use the API keys for or make.com or for anything, not for both of them. So that is why I showed you this on another Twitter account than the previous one. So, this is how you attach media files to your tweets using NA10. Um, for everyone who's making a video about this, how to do it, please pay tribute to me and mention my name, because this is the very first video on YouTube about this. If you learned something or if you like this video, give it a, thumb, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.